dear viewers, welcome to our program and today we are at Our Lady of the Rosary Parish from Gong Diocese. As the Bible says, there is great joy when a sinner repents. The angels in heaven rejoice. Likewise, we experience the great joy when the family of God increases, as with the growing up of parishes in the diocese, and more especially the Diocese of Ngong, for the birth of their 37th parish, Our Lady of the Rosary Oloitikosh. It was such a blessing when the bishop was watering a number of trees that have been planted around this new parish. It was a great opportunity to meet Mama Kinyori, one of the prominent pioneer persons who planted the first seed of faith that has bore this beautiful fruit of the parish, as she narrates the story. The rosary is a powerful weapon and through the intercession of Mother Mary, she will always pray for us in whichever way possible. For she intercedes for us to his son Jesus Christ. Ndipo nilipewa kanyumba pale kwa barabara tukaanza kusali na mzee marehemu. Ikiwa hapo nilianza kufikiria habari ya kupata kiwaja. Ndipo niliendea wakubwa kazi ya monere. Na baada ya kwenda mara nyingi kumsumbua akakata kauri na akanipatia hii kiwaja. Na nikiwa tu hapa mzee mwingine marehemu akanipatia shamba ikambili akasema ile siku atakufa atakubukwa na wengi The Holy Mass was presided over by Bishop John Obala of the Diocese of Ngong. I, John, by the grace of God and the favor of the Apostolic See, Bishop of Ngong, decree, in virtue of the authority granted me by Canon 515, second paragraph of the Code of Canon Law, and in accord with my responsibility in exercising pastoral office over diocese and bishop to be solicitors for all Christ faithful and trusted to his care canon 383 having duly heard the presbyteral council of this catholic diocese of Ngong do hereby erect our Lady of the Holy Rosary Catholic Parish, Ololoiti Kosh, which will border with the parishes of St. Mary's Kisarian, St. Paul's Kisaju, St. John's Kajado, St. Monica Kitengela, and Holy Spirit Kandisi. Its territory will run along Oldonio Sidai, Mpeti Road, Dawamu, Oseki, 
Anbuni Road. It will comprise the following outstations. St. Stephen Emboley, St. Francis of Assisi, Olorien, Community of the Most Pure Heart of Jesus and Mary, Oldonio Sidai, and Ongor Kidinga. Direction of this parish is justifiable by the long distances from St. Mary's Parish, Kisarian, the steadily growing Catholic population, and our missionary zeal to deepen Missio Argentes in this area. The principal church of this parish will be here at Ololoiti Kosh under the title of Our Lady of the Rosary. Given in Gong on this very day, the 26th of May, 2019, the seventh of our episcop episcopates, signed by Right Reverend John Obala Oleoa <laughs> of the Catholic <coughs> Diocese of God. <laughs> Basi atakaekua paroko wa kwanza wa parokia hii ni Father Andrea Mumanyi Usoro Wakofi kwake Msaidisi wake ni Father Vincent Shumila. Na pia katika community hii tutakuwa na brother John Msioki. Basi na muomba the outgoing Parish priest of Kisarian, St. Mary's, that has now given birth to Our Lady of the Rosary, Father John Gishane, to come forward and present this decree as a sign of transfer of service <laughs> to the new parish priest. Mezalewa kweni Kini kuza mtoto ni kitu kimoja Kumtunza Na, na, na kumwelea Ndiyo eh, Mtunze mtoto huyu Mwelea mtoto huyu Ado Kuna kazi nyingi Ya kufanywa katika swala La kujenga jamii ya nyeutendaji ya parokia hii. The Christians have been so hardworking and joined hands to build the church and the house for the priests, which they all did with lots of dedication, love and devotion. Yes. 
sisi tunakusihi e bwana uzibariki dhabihu hizi tunazo kutolea upende kuzitakaza kwa roho wako ili zigeuke kuwa mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliye tuamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya usiku ule alipotolewa yeye mwenyewe alitoa mkaji akakushukuru akakutukuza akaumega akawapa wafuasi wake akisema tuaeni mle wote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akatua kikombe akakushukuru akakutukuza akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Tuaeni mnywe wote Hiki ni kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya la milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa kunikumbuka mimi Huyo ndiye mwana kondoo wa Mungu aondoaye dhambi za dunia heri yao walialekwa kwenye karamu ya Bwana dedication love and devotion we continue to thank the lord for his love and care and for sending more people to serve him as the capuchin fathers have accepted the call to come and serve the people of ngong diocese in this very parish our lady of the rosary loitikosh Naomba kitu kimoja. Tuwe pamoja. Ushirikiano parokia yote nzima. Tuwe kitu kimoja. Tutembee pamoja. Tukue pamoja. Endapo kuna changamoto hizo zifanye hizo tufanye sisi tukue. They should not destroy us or weaken us. Tukiwa pamoja tutafauru. Tusipokuwa moja hatutafauru. We are going to be committed in the growth of the faith in this place. Tutakuwa karibu sana na Wakristo. Viongozi wote na wakilishi wa hapa kwetu wote 
wanachangu ambao wamefikia hapa kuweza kuendeleza maendeleo ni kweli sasa ndio kazi imeanza baba askofu ni kweli kazi imeanza tuko tayari tupatahidi ili tuyeye tuendavyo na kama wakati wote tutahitaji msaidizi wenu tutawaambia pia tungetaka kuwa shukuru kwa gharishani na parokia ya Kisilia Sentimeri ni sisi ni watoto wenu tunashukuru sana kwa hiyo transition yote you all must be part of you kwa sababu ninyi ndio sisi ni watoto wenu kwa hivyo saa zingine mtoto anapohitaji kitu anaenda kwa mzazi wake anaomba hivi kata 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 keki kata 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 tamu kata 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 maendeleo kata 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 wapi kelele dange mimi kwa na rafiki mmoja rafiki yangu sana tulikuwa tunafanya kazi naye ya kusaidia maskini Kiserian ndio tulikutana na yeye wakiwa na wazee kadhaa wakaniambia watanisaidia kujenga ya kanisa ya mabati na baadaye huyo mzee alinikutia na bibi yake akasema Yesu Kristo hawezi jengewa kanisa ya mabati ikiwa wa, watu ama wao wanalala nyumba ya mawe akasema kama Joshua eh ame hapa na nyumba yake atamjengea nyumba kani Mungu kanisa akaniambia ni chore ni venye kanisa ni kitaka ikue kama inakaa aje ndio nikachora kanisa kama unavyoiona ikiongozwa na roho mtakatifu na sasa rafiki yangu alikuwa mjapanisha akanisaidia sana alikuwa engineer na sasa wakati tulianza kujenga kanisa nikaona itakuwa bure kama hatuna mashirika ya masista baba askofu marehemu Corin Davis alikubali kunipatia masista wa Holy Spirit Sisters na Kilimanjaro Sisters kwa sababu nilikuwa na shamba ikabidi pale chini ndipo tena baadaye nikamwelekea marehemu professor George Saitoti na Mungu arehemu roho yake sana akiwa binguni aliweza kutupatia hii shamba ya hapa baraka na nikamwelekea tena baba askofu akubali tu na mashure ya ma, ya, ma, ya mashure hapa ya wastana na ndipo tukapewa subsection sisters of Nairobi ndipo sasa baadaye tukawa tukapewa shamba ingine na mkristo mmoja akajitolea pale chini na pia kanisa ikapiga hatua ikanunua shamba ingine hapa kando mimi nilikuwa hapa kanisa kuanzia 1994 hivi staafu 204 nikiwa na miaka 11 isa chia ready wakati niona taba na kuingia kandi kanisa niomba Mungu asa ni kwa muziki na ndipo kwa hiyo maneno nafurahia Mungu sana ndipo kwa saa hii kanisa ikifunguliwa my festival ndiye chairman tena wa Kigango ndiye huyo Francis Kanyori jana akona ni 35 years na tukianza kanisa alikuwa na miaka 10 
dear viewers, as you have heard from Mama and all the people who have given their testimonies about this church, Our Lady of the Rosary, it's a blessing and it's a gift from Mother Mary. You can also be a blessing in your own way. So let us give ourselves out for the service of the Lord, for we are the present missionaries to build our church and to mold it. It has been wonderful to be with you on our program, My Parish. I am your host, Sister Christine. Until we meet next time, God bless you.